in a park in Detroit that's making people stop and take notice. Yeah, it's amongst the trees and not far from the jungle gym. Something is growing uh, that you wouldn't expect to see. Our photojournalist Alex Atwell shows us the uniquely Detroit project that's turning one Detroit neighborhood into a living art gallery. We all know in some ways it appears like there's two Detroits. There's everything that's happening downtown and then there's the neighborhood. The things that are happening in Detroit now are beginning to filter into the neighborhood. And this is part of it. Ready? Up we go. My name is Walter Bailey. I'm a professional artist in the Detroit area. Boom. Retired from the Detroit Public Schools. And now in my retirement, my whole idea is to pass art on to this next generation. In a little shake, rattle and roll. We're installing two of the art forest structures. You gonna hit me any more of that purple? And Art Forest is a custom-made mural project for park-like areas. The idea is to grow an art project right out of the ground and the soil of the park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Why does this neighborhood need art? It needs art because art now is becoming a process by which beautification takes place in neighborhoods. And you don't have to be an artist. You don't have to be an artist. Yeah. You just have to have a creative quality. Yeah. How cool is it that some of the, the youth in the neighborhood get to be part of this? Stencils aren't exactly easy. You have to you have to kind of think, you have to plan, and then you have to execute it. And it really requires paying attention to detail. Go back to the words, because I'm just, you know, moving into at random okay. spots. What I like about it is it builds their confidence. It's like, oh, I figured out how to do this. The next thing that comes along, you say, I figured that out. I can figure out this other thing. And that's really what it's about. It's about art and culture. The ability to take creative talent and skill and use it to beautify neighborhoods. This kind of real positive energy yeah. brings a, a very important spirit to this part of the city and this neighborhood. Yeah, right there, good. That's good. it? Yeah. Let me walk? No, no more. Beautiful. This is bringing art from down to up. It's all about engagement. It's all about grassroots neighborhood enthusiasm to make our neighborhood better. Once it's up and it's shining and it's exciting in the neighborhoods and it's thing, oh man, you can't, you just can't. It's gonna be great, man. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs>You know, when I was a kid, I spent some time in Elijah Howell Park on the west side over by Brightmoor. You should uh, do that. There. Well, you should do it in a lot of places, Walter Bailey. Absolutely. Art Forest is an excellent project for parks and recreational areas. All right. Why do this? Why w with kids? I mean, it, it, you know, of course, it, they need culture. They, they need to express themselves. Well, Detroit is changing. It's, it's become a creative center and there are kids out here who should participate in that creative center. So art forest projects like this uh, train them in stencil design, it lets them be creative, it expands their thinking, and the end result is something that they can really cherish. It would be very cool to see this pop up all these parks across the city. Uh, do you have, as an artist, do you have to wear the black turtleneck? Is that in the artist's code? No. <laughs> <laughs> it was just something to put on this morning. <laughs> hey, let's, uh, let's pan over or widen out the shot. Mm -hmm. You brought three examples of your reverse painting on plexiglass. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, sometime about 1977, I left the whole idea of creating art on papers and canvas. I wanted something different. I Go ahead and keep something... talking. I'm going to tilt this forward so the lights don't catch it. So keep I going. just wanted something that would, would give art an identity. So I started experimenting and I found plexiglass. So this is actually painted in reverse on the back of the plexiglass. Absolutely. It's not no... framed with glass, which you can see the plexiglass is right. reflecting there's no, TV lights. There's no glass on that artwork. Okay, now this middle one. Yes. Uh, this one, I was drawn to this because it immediately made me think of like a prog rock 1976 album cover for like oh, yeah. Emerson, Lake and Palmer or even like Parliament Funk and Doug. I mean, there is, there's some cool stuff in play here. Oh yeah, that's called City of the Two Suns and it was an, a combination of science fiction, I love science fiction, and fine art. 
and detailed studies of, of civilizations lost. I'm a Star trek -y person. Yeah, this is kind of Buck Rogers. Uh, yes, thing, yeah. that's absolutely. Uh, and so I created this one with very intricate lines so that uh, the detail would be excellent. Last but certainly not least, we had to stand this one up. It was too thin for the easel, but uh, I will again tilt that forward so the light doesn't bounce off of it. And, and remember, Tell me about that one. Remember, these don't have glass on them, but this is a very famous African statue called the Chihuahua. It is the antelope design, and it has a very modern look to it. Okay. And there are many of them in museums across the world. Very cool. Now, where could somebody acquire your art? Well. On January the 14th, I'd like to invite the public to a free and open dressy affair at the Charles H. Wright Museum. There we see it on the screen. And it is going to be a show that travels from my early drawings in elementary and high school all the way up to art for the 21st century and beyond. Transitions of Walter Bailey at the Wright Museum, a retrospective. Thank you Absolutely. so much for being here. Good to see you. Thank you. Wasn't so bad, was it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of chuck.